thought for the day has to do with not giving so much of yourself that you wind up resenting whoever, whatever, whatever you've given to. And I, you know, inspired this is I, I know a lady who she pretty consistently will overgive her energy, her time, her efforts to help someone else out. They might not even be asking for that amount of it, but she will. And then gets angry about having given so much to them, about having not had, had more time for herself, about, uh, about maybe them not seeming thankful enough for it. But again, like, it's on each of us to be conscientious of, are we giving an amount that we want to have given? That we're going to have feel feel right about having given that amount. And obviously, it's partly too around for some people, not in this particular individual's case, but for some people, it might be founded partly in a sense of have they reciprocated, which is also meaning that that's not what giving's about either, right? If you that's not actually giving anymore, uh, you can't just be imposing favors onto uh, a group, an organization, people, whatever, and then expecting that from that they're supposed to be giving back to you. If you're expecting that, then again, you're no longer really giving at all. Uh, making sure that whatever level you're putting in of energy, of time, of effort, maybe to a company you work at, right? That if you are, and I see this all the time with game industry stuff, people will tear themselves apart health-wise thinking that they are giving so much to the company and the company doesn't seem to appreciate it, doesn't seem to promote them, doesn't pay them better, doesn't recognize them for it. And... Sort of, in some cases, the company didn't even ask for it, was not going to oppose receiving it, but then the person goes off and badmouths the company. When, again, the, the mistake there came from someone being completely out of calibration on give what you want to give, and that's up to you, but do so in a way that's not going to lead you to feel resentment later, because ultimately that's going to grind on you more than it is the other party. Right? It's much more frustrating to be frustrated than to be frustrated at. Actually kind of be a, be pretty oblivious a lot of times of whether or not you're being frustrated at, but you will always feel the frustration from the side of someone who regrets having done something too much. It's It can be something that we might think of it a bit like uh, overeating, where at the moment it might feel good or uh, it might seem... You know, not all that harmful, whatever, but obviously kind of catch up to us. And it's something that overgiving maybe is another thing we should be thinking about as something we've got to keep ourselves in check on. That it might feel natural in the moment. It might feel good in the same way as, again, maybe overeating to overgive. But as suggested by the word over, it's too much. It's more than we should. It's not good for our health. It's not good for us. It's not good for our lives. And that'll free up our cycles, our energy, our efforts, our attention to reinvest more energy into our own development, into doing, maybe giving to others, into making other kinds of advancement progress, or just resting, recovering, whatever it might be. But that's stuff for the day. That's all there is to it. Have another video for tomorrow.